in a way, in our contemporary worldview, it's easy to think that science has come to take the place of God. But some philosophical problems remain as troubling as ever. Take the problem of free will. What's happening, kings and queens? I got a Mass Effect 3 multiplayer gameplay for you with my boyfriend and two other randoms. Um, I'm playing as the Geth Trooper. That's the Geth Soldier. Finally got him unlocked. He has the Flamer, Hunter Mode, and Fortification. I expect all the way into everything but Hunter Mode. I know that's, I don't know, that seems pretty, uh, I don't know, far-fetched or whatever you want to call it. But, I don't know, I want to keep all my shields. I don't like how Hunter Mode cuts it in half. And plus, I wanted all my level 6 bonuses for each, for the fortification bonus at the end. And then the flamer bonus at the end. And I wanted my power bonuses, and I also wanted all of my health and shields. So I felt that Hunter Mode was what I wanted to sacrifice. But... For the Geth Engineer and the Geth Infiltrator, of course, I have Hunter Mode spec all the way. I just felt like with the Soldier, I really didn't need Hunter Mode. All I needed was Fortification and Flamer. But, um, enough of all that. What I really wanted to talk about, though, was the Corian and Geth debate, controversy, uh, problem, or situation, whatever you want to call it. But um, I was in the BioWare forum because I'm a member of the forums and I'm pretty, well I've been pretty active in it lately. So um, you know I just put in there Koreans versus Geth and I got a lot a lot of good feedback and I just wanted to make it into a commentary. Um, basically here's the story, Koreans created the Geth, they created machines because they wanted labor model machines to you know just do manual labor stuff that would be slavery if you know if it was real people like if you enslave a race to do things for manual labor so in the beginning it was all fun and games it was all cool everything went according to plan and over time they little by little started to add a little bit more intelligence to the geth machines so that they can, um, I don't know, operate a little better or do even more abstract manual labor. And eventually, the Geth started forming ideas and kind of like how people are, you know, how people would. And for one, when they created the Geth, they was already skirting on the boundaries of illegal, they doing things illegal. Basically what they were doing was almost illegal, let's put it that way, for one. And then, anyways, the um, guests started asking questions like, who am I, what am I, and what is my purpose, and stuff like that. And that scared the Koreans. It scared the Koreans enough to want to attack the guests. See, here's the problem with that. For one, there were other ways that this could have been handled. One is they could have first looked to see if the guest was still willing to work with the Koreans, you know, just work together. And then two, they should have just been prepared, been on standby, had all the type of weapons ready, whatever they needed to prepare for the Geth to attack them. Cause the Geth probably might not have attacked if it wasn't for the Koreans attacking them. So in the end, it ended up being the Geth acting in self-defense. So, um, here's the problem with that. Like a lot of people in Mass Effect 3, you know, you get the option to, uh, if you can't broker peace between the Koreans and the Geth, you have to choose a side. And a lot of people, this is where the controversy or the debate kicks in. Because most people, we have those 50% of people who would choose the Korean, then we have the 50% who would choose the Geth. Whichever one you choose would destroy the other. So for example, if you choose to strengthen the Geth using the code, they will be strong enough to finally defeat the Korean. Whereas in the opposite way, the 
Geth will be weakened, vulnerable, and the Koreans take advantage of that and ultimately destroying the Geth. So, that's the whole situation with that. And, um, and a lot of people say, well, the Koreans, they caused this. This is their fault. So, they, deserve, they get what they deserve by choosing the Geth and destroying the Koreans. It was like an ultimate decision that was meant to happen based off a chain of events that occurred due to the Koreans. Because from what it seems, because there's always two sides to the story, the Geth would have been willing to make peace with the Koreans and work together with them in the beginning. But the war, by them attacking first, caused their people, the Koreans, their people, to ultimately lose their home world, become almost extinct, and now they don't really have a planet to live on. And it's like they've been hurting from this war for thousands of years, and it was called the Morning War, a war that they caused. So it would be the Koreans would be justified if the Geth were the ones that attacked first. But since they weren't, it's like I don't know that's just that puts the Koreans in the wrong but a lot of people don't see it that way they see it as Geth are nothing but machines they're nothing but computers we destroy we break our computers we break our cell phones and we just replace them like you know it's nothing that's how most people view it so they say of course I mean they're gonna pick the Koreans why would they pick you know a bunch of machines or garbage disposals whatever they want to call them I've seen so many names out there so then we have the people who feel like now that the Korean the um, Geth have their own mind and their own mental capacity and stuff and they're able to think like normal people that now they're normal people even though yes they're machines but they're also people and they feel like when people need to live up to their mistakes, like if the Koreans cause this, this, this is their problem, and now they live live up to it. So, I mean, me personally, I if I can't break peace between the Koreans and the Geth, I pick the Geth because the Koreans are just a little too irrational, too illogical for me, and I really don't like the way they run things in their own little government or whatever you want to call it and I really don't like the way they treated Tali that was unacceptable so um yeah so basically I'm gonna read off a little bit of the stuff some of the people said in the forums it was some pretty deep stuff people was getting really emotional in the forums about it and it was people ended up making their own little threads like pro geth threads and pro Korean threads and I thought that was pretty cool. I was reading people's opinions and stuff. Some people had stupid stuff to say. And other people, I don't know, had a lot of intelligent things to say. So um, I'm going to go ahead and read off some of the feedback that I got from it. Okay, so... In the thread, the topic that I posted was Koreans versus Geth. And I said, whose side are you on? Were you able to make peace with them? Or did you kill off the Koreans or the Geth? Then I said, me, if I had the option, if peace wasn't an option, I would kill off the Koreans. So, a lot of people, you know, they just said that they destroyed the toasters. Because in the forums, they call the Geth toasters. <laughs> well, I guess as a way to, uh, I don't know, insult them. The Koreans have a nicknames who I just can't remember. But someone by all the wolf said, basically said that the Koreans, during the morning war, the Koreans were turning on their own people. They were killing off their own people. So basically, the Koreans have no loyalty within their race. So, um, and that goes to show you how they you just went and attacked the Geth without even trying to reason or try to first see if peace was an option first. Instead, they just attacked. And what's worse is that 
they attacked their own people, people who were opposed to the things that they were doing. They were all. He he also went along and said that um, that um, the Koreans are like a are like a xenophobic crazies and they're sadistic and he said that um they have like this control issue that whereas when they lose control of something they want to destroy it or they want to i don't know so he said that they were unstable in the mind so destroying them was the best option because their instability would have caused a probably a whole nother war and um other people though they stated that the that the Geth betrayed, they sided with the Reapers twice. The first time in Mass Effect 1, the second time in Mass Effect 3. And they said just because of the fact that you have to upload the Reaper code in order for them to have legitimate free will was questionable. Just anything dealing with Reaper is always questionable. Which is why instead they destroyed the Geth and kept the Quarians. Another person said that they kept the Geth because the Geth fleet was way more valuable than the Quarian fleet. Some other people also said that they chose the Quarians because they didn't buy into the Geth's attempt at emotional manipulation. So he said sure the Quarians might have killed a few of those who supported the Geth. But the Geth killed possibly billions in the space of a single year. Also, Legion still having the code in him concerned me greatly. Remember what Legion said during his loyalty mission. The minds of both forms of life can be shaped. Organics require time and effort. When synthetic, the replacement of a data file is the only requirement. For all I know, Legion could have been cyber indoctrinated into permanently getting the Geth under Reaper control. So when he made his proposition, that was the final nail in my decision to choose the Quarians. And his name was Chris Braun. And he uh, posted that in the forums. That's a pretty, you know, good thing to put in there. But a lot of people, a lot of things people kept mentioning with the Geth was the fact that they sided with the Reapers twice. And if you think about it and understand the Reapers, a lot of people sided with the Reapers, not just the Geth. Organics, different races, um, fell under, under Reaper indoctrinations. Geth are no exception to this. So that's the way, you know, that was my response to that. And um, some people say they, they choose the Koreans can, so because machines can be rebuilt. And, um, you know, a lot of people in here were for the Quarians, but there were people in here that were for the Geth. Someone said, someone else said that, um, here, let me find it. And some people questioned Legion's loyalty because if you refuse the re to let him upload the Reaper, code he turns on you immediately but someone else said that he turns on you because he pers he's protecting his people which in, in itself doesn't bother me and he prefer to choose peace but if he couldn't he choose the death but um he said that the Koreans caused this and it will be only right that they get destroyed in their own cause you know something that I've been saying all this time so um it was a lot of things going on. Some people just was like, oh, the Koreans are just a bunch of idiots. I don't agree with their, the way they do things. Like, their government is just horrible. The Korean government is horrible. Let's just put it that way. The way they run things with the whole thing with the treason loyalty mission with Tali is not, I don't know. I mean, one thing I do regret about losing the Koreans is losing Tali because of anything, Tali is the only Korean I like, and the Koreans turned on her as well, so it goes to show you what type of race that they are. So yeah, after that, a lot of people, pro-Geth, pro-Korean people started creating their own threads, and 
they mentioned a lot of interesting things in their thread so I'll go ahead and open up that one because a lot of the things said in that one was a lot more interesting than what they said in mine so let me go check check that out someone else in the forums mentioned that during the Geth Corian situation in Mass Effect 3 that there should have been a fourth option the three options were to make peace then choose a side but someone mentioned that it should have been an option for the Corians to be able to, to control the Geth again and enslave the Geth like how it was before and there's a lot of things wrong with that for one that person is talking out of emotion instead of thinking about what they just said and um, that's impossible for one history would just repeat itself because the Corians will end up fighting the Geth again and then it'll be it'll be for a different reason this time and then we don't want history to repeat itself so that wouldn't be a good idea and also um, there is no reason to control the Geth anymore so that would be a pretty dumb reason and then how is that different from what the Reapers are trying to do Someone else mentioned that uh, the Reapers don't value organic life and they basically view organics the same way organics view synthetics. So basically to, the, to enslave the Geth just because they're nothing more than just synthetics is the same thing Sovereign said when he was controlling or trying to indoctrinate the organics saying that we're nothing before us you are nothing you know all the different things that he and harbinger stated so that was a pretty dumb statement to make on her behalf the person who said that in the forum so yeah there was a lot of things being stated but like i said me personally i kill off the Koreans every single time i don't however someone else mentioned the fact that they have to get the reaper code uploaded to them just so they can have free will that's the part that uh that concerns me a little bit because um anything that ever got in contact with the reapers ultimately became brainwashed and indoctrinated and i really don't want to come to find out <laughs> that that was the wrong decision because i love the guy especially mass effect 2 legion had like this distinct I guess personality I should say that they made him and it seemed like they took that away in Mass Effect 3 it's like what happened to you know the partner in crime the old you know N7 buddy who stole my armor and you know played it on him even though he still has it it was just that the simple fact that Legion had a personality in Mass Effect 2 and it's like it's been taken away and all of a sudden he's I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't know. This gameplay is about to wrap up pretty soon, but like I said, I'm I'm pro geth and I didn't mean to start such a such a big debate in the forums, but <laughs> it is what it is. I mean I'm pro geth, like I said. Another thing I've heard in the forums, we all know that there's a new multiplayer DLC coming out, but we really don't know what it'll consist of. We know it'll probably be more weapons and more characters and stuff, but I also heard rumors that they were coming out with new maps, even a new multiplayer game mode, and, you know, just other stuff like that, but mostly what got me interested in it was the fact that they said it would be new game modes like I said this is just a rumor though hopefully it's true because if that is true I would be pretty eager to see what type of game modes they add in there and they're also coming out with another campaign DLC and I believe that this is going to be the last DLC before they start working on Mass Effect 4 so as far as Mass Effect 4 what are you looking for like, what are you hoping to see are you hoping that it'll be a continuation of what happened in Mass Effect 3 or are you hoping it'll be a continuation but 
a continuation that happened like maybe a thousand years later when Shepard is already dead and it's like new people and new civilizations and what became of everything based off the decisions that you made and everything so what are you looking for I mean me personally that's how I would want it to be I want to see how my decisions pan out at least give Mass Effect 3 some closure you know what I'm saying because a lot of people were pretty upset about the ending and if they make a Mass Effect 4 with a continuation a thousand years later of what happened to all the races after you made peace or you, I don't know, picked a side and come to find out like, let's say, the Geth end up, end up being the next Reapers or, um, I don't know, or maybe the Krogan start multiplying too fast and then it'll be a whole nother unstable war between Krogan and then the Salarians gotta put them back <laughs> use the genophage and do the same thing where history repeats itself you know stuff like that is what I'm wanting to see like if you killed Rex with the Krogan finally or uh, with the Krogan end up repeating themselves or if you let him live will the Krogan finally be able to settle and be civilized people you know I always wondered you know what happens next and will it just be a whole new story altogether and if so hopefully Bioware can redeem themselves or I don't know hopefully we'll see but anyways though this gameplay is about to come to an end and I think I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay if you would like um, I, th I think I'm the only one that extracts. I wait till the very end. <laughs> You'll see. But, um, well, enjoy, and hopefully, I'll, I'll be coming up with some more Mass Effect gameplay. Mostly not commentaries, though, just different footages and compilations, like maybe a Geth struggle and just have all different scenes of the Geth situation and etc. So we'll see. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it, but we'll see. And I know I'm going to do a Garrus tribute. Garrus romance tribute. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay in tune.